Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Satya Karki. I'm Microsoft MVP and I have more than 10 years of professional experience in software development, data and blockchain, especially using Microsoft technologies. As a .NET developer, I love to use Visual Studio and I use it daily. We can create new GitHub repository and upload the files directly from the Visual Studio to the GitHub. So in this video, I will demonstrate how we can create repository in a GitHub and upload project files in the repository using Visual Studio 2022. So the first step uh, is to open the projects that uh, you uh, want to upload to the GitHub and create a repository for the project. So let me open. This is my project that I want to create a repository in a GitHub and upload this project files in the GitHub repository. So once we open uh, here, uh, we can see add to the source control in the Visual Studio IDE. So let's click it and here is apps on the Git. Click on the Git. So once you click the Git option, uh, here you can we can see create a Git repository. Uh, here you can see the GitHub and also the Azure DevOps. Using the Visual Studio, we can create a repository and uh, upload the project files to the Azure DevOps as well. Uh, however, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how we can create a GitHub repository uh, using the Visual Studio 2022. So I will select the Git option. So here you can see the local path of this my project files. This is my local path of this project that I'm going to create a repository on the GitHub. And uh, another option is a uh, git ignore template. Uh, if you want to um, use uh, any uh, git ignore file template, here is the option. You can select the option based on your need and your choice. As this is a sample demo, I'm selecting the default Visual Studio uh, template for the Git Ignore file. So another option is a license uh, template. If you want to include the, any licensing template or any licensing to be to implement in your GitHub repository, then you can select here are the options such as a G and U a friend of general public license for Sun 3.0, Apache license, BSD, Boost software license, and uh, several uh, other options such as uh, MIT license, Mozilla public license 2.0, uh, the on license, and so on. You can select based on your need or if you are going to create a repository for your company or the organizations based on your organization standard practices and the compliance, uh, you can select the licensing template as well. Uh, for this demo purpose, um, this is just a simple demo project. So I'm not selecting the any license and I'm keeping the non option here. If you want to add a readme file, here is the options. Uh, I will also add a readme file in this repository. So I'm selecting this. Uh, here you can see create a new GitHub repository and you need to have an account uh, on this machine. I have already logged into my GitHub account. So it has automatically detected my GitHub username and the owners also the here. If you want, you can add uh, another account also. And if you haven't logged into your Git in your Visual Studio, then you can log in and your account and the owner details will come inside here. So the next is a repository name. By default, it has a given the generate bytecode. This is my project name. Uh, if you want to give the another name also, you can delete it and you can write for my repository name. I'm keeping the sample generate bytecode. Okay, this is just a sample project that generates the bytecode from the string or from the uh, 
integer input the next is we can give the description of the repository or what does this project do we can write here simply this is just a sample demo project to generate bytecode so this is my description and the last thing is if you want to make your repository the private then you can select the uh, private option if you are going to make your repository available publicly then we can unselect it as i will make it uh, public so i'm going to unselect it and the final step is to create and publish so, okay let me click create and the publish So you can see here the create a GitHub repository is started. So create it locally, opening the repositories. So here we can see I created and push the repository to the GitHub successfully. So that button creates and pushes the all the project files. So now we can go and check. Earlier I had only the 33 repository. Now let's refresh and see. So here I have now the 34. See the our repository is created sample bytecode sample generate bytecode repository name. And all the project files are also here. Hence, in this video, we have created a repository in the GitHub using Visual Studio 2022. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, concerns, please feel free to write in the comment section.